in Waifu Land. Call it Waifu Land one day. I wish just jam with this song for a little bit. It's like Japanese Beach. Beach Boys. Be kind of cool to see. Alright. What in the world is going on here? We're about to find out all these foxy ladies. Further ahead, I saw a couple, a couple of girls in fast pursuit even of even more girls. However, there's something off about this scene. Something that doesn't make any sense. I know. It's you... like there's something wrong with this scene. I can't quite put my finger on it. I don't know. Oh, the ears! Yeah, the uh, ears. Oh, he's never been to an anime convention. <laughs> or a furry convention. I've never been to one either. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. No yipping. Fucking furries are weird. Except for Jessica Nigeria's fox. Yeah. Stupid sexy fox. <laughs> <laughs> That's a cool picture. Bam! The girls being chased had ears and tail of an animal. And the pursuers appeared to be armed with a katana and a... Naginata spear. Oh, she looks like the girl from High School of the Dead. Katana girl. I think that was me. What voice were you again? Oh, you were Arnold Schwarzenegger. Uh, you have her and yeah. I, I think I have her and her. Because they were blue and yellow and red and where the fuck that color was. Purple? Uh, new voice for everybody. You come even, Fox! Get back here at once! <laughs> Return what you stole immediately! That's you. <laughs> Give me back my panties! Oh, she's free balling! I try to sound like Arn. Yeah, it can't get. How could you? How could you say something like that? How could you say something out loud like that? <laughs> panties, panties. That was actually me. Uh, <laughs> nope. Mister J. So, I guess I'm the. I'll be the silver-haired one. No, 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 she no, was no, the no. mature one. Uh, you, you, you get you, you get your Nawi. <laughs> My Nawi? Yeah. yeah. Oh. Okay, go again. Right? <laughs> oh no! Help! Save us from the rampaging women! <laughs> <laughs> As I watched the girls run off, I couldn't help but find myself struggling with the decision. Just leave them be. Well, I, when the fuck did we make choices? <laughs> well, I didn't know what, what in the world was going on. The two girls armed with rather realistic looking props. Surely they can't be real. Had me worried. I couldn't very well call myself a hero if I let something like this go on without acting. I'm so going to regret this. Mumbling in annoyance, I chased after the girls. Hikage, go around the lift! Right. I said left. Why don't you always undermine me? I was just saying right. I was, you know what? Never mind. Just, just run after them. As I was watching chasing the girls, I noticed that the trees seemed to be getting denser, making it gradually more difficult to navigate along the path. Oh, this is me, right? Oh, nice summer. I don't think I can run much, much more. I'm starting to feel a bit. Yeah. Just a little longer, Mako Chan. We're almost. Mako! Mako! Not that. Not now! S sorry. Onesama. Scissor attack! <laughs> Shiver me timbers! Or scissor me timbers! <laughs> oh god. Whoosh. 
I arrived just in time to find a scene of taken straight from an action movie. The girl with the blonde hair had collapsed, held in her companion's protective embrace. The two armed girls were approaching him, almost unmistakably with, a, with killing and instincts running amok. Any seasoned martial artist would have felt it. Those girls were going in for, the, for a beating if I didn't stop them. We got you now, thieves! I'm going to personally drag your sword butts back to town and have you both put in stocks. Maybe I'll even show you how it feels to run around without any undies on. <laughs> yeah, although I must admit, having a breeze down there does feel kind of nice. It gives me feeling fresh and tingly. Odd. Hikage, goodness. Don't you have any shame? This isn't about you, it's about our undercarpets stolen. And these two criminals are being brought to justice. Mm. One summer. It hurts. My head hurts. Shh. It's gonna be okay, little one. <laughs> hey, gods, if you're so desperate to have your underwear back, then here, catch. Stop it right there, criminal scum. <laughs> He's gonna catch me. However, before I was able to interrupt, interrupt the conversation, the superhero girl tossed something into the air. Whatever it was, it was flying straight towards my head. Two samurai girls instantly grew flustered. Ugh, I can't see. Who the hell tosses up? Peeling the items off my face, I raised them into the air, looking like a professional, ex like a professor examining an important sample while the thieves made their escape. A pink bra and lace panties. Oh boy, I knew this wasn't gonna end well. But it sure give you well worth it, right? Yeah. Yeah. Ah, you there. Are you in cahoots with those crafty fox? Hand those back immediately. Those are evidence of a crime. And not for anyone else to touch. Drop panties right now. I'm innocent until proven guilty. I plead the fifth. I'm one of those golden rules of court. It's one of those golden rules of court. Stop pointing those weapons at me so I can hand over your undies without being turned to a shish kebab. What? No. Stop or shut up. Just drop the evidence and walk away. I'm Sakuni Mio, chief of the village gods, and I'm ordering you to drop what you're holding right now. I don't know anything of the village guards, and I seriously doubt a cop would go around dressed like that, wielding a katana. Maybe in fucking wherever the fuck we are. In Wife Land. Oh, Wife Land, one day. More importantly, the ground here is muddy and dirty. Are you sure I just drop them, drop the evidence right here? I mean, I could, but. Yeah! Before I could react, a pink girl lunged towards me, the pointy end of her naginata aimed at my gut. Ooh. My reflexes caught, it, caught on just in time, I was able to palm the spear as it sailed through the air. I, stuck, I struck upwards on the wooden shaft of the weapon, sending it into the air, and causing the girl to lose her balance. Wait, she lost her balance and she doesn't have any underwear on. You jerk. Jerk, I'm a goddamn hero. Narumi. I did not order you to attack. Fine, fine. I'll give him back. Jeez. Just my luck at finding a bunch of crazy girls with weapons. Extending the hand that, that held the undies, I tried to hand them over. Something that, would, that I would soon end up regretting. Ha! You think I'd follow something so simple, fool? You may have fooled me once, but I won't let that happen again. Oh god, it's a struggle. The woman swung her, her, her weapon wide, arcing a thick wooden pole into my side before I could dodge. <laughs> What's it feel like to have something thick and long? Shoves <laughs> in my side? Uh, like, any, like any normal knife. Huh. Then she lunged back forwards, not backwards, forwards. And grabbed me tightly. Ooh. 
Put my arms around my back. Aw. Leave me with sore ribs in a prone position. Aw. I could have fought back, but I figured it would only lead to more fighting. With the possibility of ending, with, of ending up stabbed. Yeah, good point. I decided to remain passive. The sword wielding girl steps forward and grabs the silky underwear from my tr my hand triumphantly. Your method, ha, or hoomph! Your methods might seem true, but they do get results, Hikage. Tie him up. We'll bring him in for questioning. He probably knows where those pesky thieves are hiding. Right. Why the fuck do you get like one word sentences? I have to read a goddamn paragraph. Fuck. One word you say. <laughs> one word. She's a strong silencer. God. Who likes to hit people? Stab him inside with long wooden poles. Yep. <laughs> Shafts. <laughs> people. People wonder why criminals want to resist or want to resist arrest all of, at all costs. I mumbled this weakly as a girl with Naginata tied my wrist together with rope. I soon felt myself dragged towards, dragged by the duo towards the city. Surely, once we're out of the forest, you two will stop this act of your, of yours, and let me go, right? And as much as I like to fool around, <laughs> whew, I have much more important things to do. The city, yeah. We're not taking you how all the way there. You are spending nights in the village cells, jeez. <laughs> Who are you calling a thief? I'm the victim here. First, I got the enemies tossed into my face. And then, I had to deal with physical abuse. And now, the accusations. Besides, there's no village around these parts. There's, it's a city, you know. Tsuki... Tsukino Toshi. Wait, is her name Tsukino Mio? Oh my uh, god, we're in the past, but it's have future clothes. It's like Inuyash all over again! Silence! A silence! Kage, if he speaks again before we get to the village, you have my permission to knock him out conscious. Right. Sunday tyrants. <laughs> that's funny. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> and that's how I ended up on my way to the jail cell, cuffed and dragged by two girls. Both of whom I started to suspect were crazy. Oh, this looks like a nice village. We'll find out on the next episode. Remember not to drop the soap. <laughs> oh.